What's up guys, Spencer TV Dollars here, welcome back. We are going to be getting some balance changes today, tomorrow, whichever day, whichever part of the world you're in. Now interestingly enough, balance changes are coming to eight different cards. So right now I'm making a deck with those eight cards, which are going to change. We're going to go straight into the ladder. I don't have a lot of trophies right now, like 3,800. We're going to go straight in the ladder and we're going to see if we can win with this deck. And I'll go through individually each of the cards, what's going to be changing. Then maybe we'll battle somebody in the clan. Why not? Let's see if we can win with this. If I can win with this, it makes me OP. Not really. It makes me lucky. All right, so I'm glad to see, by the way, that the witch is changing. I am glad that the witch... The, I think the witch is one of my favorite cards, and I don't get to use it in the higher arenas. Nobody uses the witch in the higher arenas. Too many counters to the witch. Maybe with these balance changes, the witch will come back, but I still don't think so. There's too much against him. But lower down, it's still going to be an OP card. All right, guys, we're up against Gandalf from Chili Your, Will Chili Your Beans. And let's have a look. What do you got, Gandalf? So I'm going to go through each of these cards, guys. I'm going to let you know what the difference is going to be. Now, the witch, witch damage is increased by 6%. Like I said, I don't think that's going to make a big difference in higher arenas. But if you're still using the Doc Dollars deck lower down, that might really help you out. I don't know. Now, the Executioner, this is the card people have been waiting to see a change with. Executioner, damage down by 6%. Range is down to 45 from 5 And the Axe hit, axe hit Radius is down, to ten, down by 10%. Obviously, they, I think, not for certain, I think they're going to fix that freeze ability that the axe had. It wasn't supposed to be there. You've all seen it with the Hound. I'll talk about that later. Baby Dragon range is up to 3.5 from 3, bringing it more in line with the Wizard. And the Dark Prince hit points are going up by 5%. Not many people are using the Dark Prince at the minute. I like the Dark Prince. I think it's a great card. just doesn't get used on a great deal. I'm using a normal Prince at the minute, but I'm using an Executioner with the Prince instead of the Dark Prince. I don't know, it just seems to work a little bit better. So let's hope there's a comeback for the Dark Prince. The two Princes used to get used a lot back in the old days. You know what, I'm not even going to fight against these Spear Goblins. Screw them, just leave them. I want to get my Giant Pecker down. Now, can I get my Giant Pecker down in front of this Witch? No, I can't. Now guys, the Giant Pecker is going to be changing and the great reason for that Three second deploy time down to one. I would have been able to squeeze my giant pecker in front of that witch then with a one second deploy time, but I couldn't. Skeleton army, the count is going down to 15 from 16, losing one skeleton. It is a little bit OP. Changing all of the skeletons, hit points, etc. is probably going to do too much of a change. So just removing a skeleton seems like a good idea. Oh, my prince is going to hit that tower. Nice. Well done, prince. All right, let's drop this poisoning. Now the poison duration is going down to eight from 10, and the damage per second is going up by like 20... 24%, which means that it's going to deal the damage quicker, pretty much deal the same damage, but deal it quicker. So anything that walks through uh, the poison is going to it's going to suffer a lot more, lot more damage a lot faster, which I think is... Oh no, my baby giant! Oh no, I didn't drop it. Nice! Okay, I thought I was in trouble there. Don't you just love when you get away with that? I'd almost dropped my baby dragon, he fireballed and he didn't hit it. I'm down to 229 on that tower, though. that's not good. I'm going to try and distract this inferno with the, with the Larry army. Is this going to work? Can we get rid of this Inferno? Nice. All right, that's not too bad. Let's get this Dark Prince onto this tower. You know what? We might win with this deck, guys. That's that's pretty good. If we can win with this meta change deck or the balance change deck, sounds a little bit like... Bing, but it isn't. Oh, skeletons, by the way. Changing the skeletons. We're going to go up back to four skeletons from three skeletons. Is that going to make a big difference? I don't know. It's, we just use those as distraction troops. It's it's probably going to work nicely on stuff like Mini Pekka. It might be a little bit better if you're trying to distract Elite Barbs as well. It's going to give you that little bit extra time to deal with Elite Barbs. I have to wait and see about that. And we've won! Nice! All right, guys, we won with the Balance Change deck! Yay. Well, I wasn't expecting to win that. Did I, did I mention every card then? I don't know if I did. I don't know if I mentioned everything. I'm sure I did. Didn't, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I did, guys, I did. All right, so what I wanted to talk about, though, guys, I'm going to battle with Dom from Lost Phoenix. He doesn't know that this is going to be in a video, so we're just going to battle this out. Now, the Executioner, it does have, like, a stun effect. You've probably seen it versus the Lava Pups when they all get clubbed together, Executioner kills them. But it also happens against stuff like the Mini Pekka. So it does seem to have a little bit of a stun, stun freeze effect, which it was never supposed to do, apparently. And I think from tomorrow, that effect will be gone. I think. Not for sure. They've not said it definitely will be. They just said some glitches will be fixed. That is the only glitch 
that I can think of. You know what, the Dark Goblin, he is a pain in the ass. I really don't like the Dark Goblin. I don't like coming. It just seems like he's shooting way too fast. Look at this, we've got some hits off here. That princess, I'm going to poison the princess and the Dark Goblin. I've not been using the poison much. Not going to make much difference in a situation like that where all of the troops are stationary. But it is going to make a lot more difference where troops are walking through the poison. Instead of escaping out the other side without being dealt all the damage, they're going to get a lot more damage dealt to them. All right, let's get Baby Dragon out. So Baby Dragon's range is going to be going up. Glad to... I think the Baby Dragon is a good card. Not, not, not used a lot. Now, obviously, the developers, they play around with these balance changes quite a bit. And so the numbers that they pick are generally just to bring these cards back to more likely to be used because they're not being used enough. Like I say, I don't think there's anything you can do to the witch. And they've even admitted it actually online on the website. Because if they do too much to the witch, the witch is just too OP low down. You can unlock the witch in the very first arena. So right at the beginning of the game, there are people with witches. So you can't make the witch too strong. That's how the Doc Dollars deck got so strong. Look at this bloody Dark Goblin shooting so fast. And my excuse he nearly killed it. Right, let's try to get the skeleton army around these goblins. Is that going to work? It's not my favorite way to defend a goblin barrel at all. And normally somebody sends a log right after. Let's wait and see. Has Dom got a log? He's not going to drop a log. He's going to drop a princess. I'm going to poison her again. So he can't drop any other troops. All right, she's going to go down. So the princess, it's going to be like 25%. They're going to drop like, they're going to be one quarter faster at killing these. He's firing a cannon. Cannon. Since when is that a cannon? Firing a rocket at my tower. And he's tried to sneak in with the Dark Goblin. So there's the three... The three skeletons, it's going to be back up to four. He's managed to sneak down my tower and he's managed to throw a log at the same time because he knew, he remembered, that I'm having to defend the Goblin Barrel with Skeleton Army. It's the only thing I've got. Even the new poison isn't going to do that. It's not going to be quick enough. Got the tower down. Time to pull that lever, Mr. King. All right, perfect. All right, we're ahead here. Look at this Dark Goblin sneaking around the back. It's going to go after my witch. Is this going to go after my witch? Look at this Dark Goblin shooting my witch. He's going to kill my witch. Oh my god, it nearly got it, and now he's... Well, that ended up being kind of a waste of a rocket, because my witch was almost dead anyway. Although you do need to make sure you finish off a witch. She's still, still generating skeletons after all. I'm losing my giant pecker. A lot of people complaining giant pecker is a useless card at the minute. Just nobody seems to be able to get it deployed. Too many ways to distract it. Now, with a quicker deploy time, it will be slightly better, but I don't know that that's going to make a big enough difference for people to be using it in the deck. They might use it more on defense... Then on attack, so because you can you can defend. For example, you could use a giant pecker on a royal giant or something if you could deploy it in one second rather than three. I don't know. That might be one possible way, but I don't think it's going to be any easier to attack with it once it's walking. It's really easy to distract. So let's send my dark prince again, and I'm going to drop my poison. See if I can get all of this stuff. Now this what that is a situation where the new poison will definitely help. Would be poisoning that little knight there a lot quicker. I'm going to get his tower here, I think. If I can stop this skeleton army, stop this goblin barrel, my skeleton army. Get the Dark Prince in on the middle. I think I've got him. I don't think there's anything he can do to stop this. I got my Dark Prince in the middle, which distracted that pain in the ass of a Dark Goblin. Going to get his tower down with this poison. You know what? I'm kind of enjoying using the poison. Not used it in a while. Not many people using it. I think poison will be coming back. Coming back for the win. Oh, that was close. He almost got me. Right, this is it this time. Is that going to get around his Inferno? I think it is. He's got to he's got to drop his log. Dropped his log too late. Poisoned his tower. Down it goes, and we won with it. So, guys, that is the balance change deck. All eight gotcha. of those cards are going to be changing. So maybe it's going to make a difference to your deck straight away, and you don't have to do anything. Guys, this will be the first of two videos today. Second one. Pretty exciting. It's going to be another versus battle. Wait till you see this one. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Share these videos with your friends or your grandmother or your mum. That's the new thing. Until the next time, you take care.